hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel rebel free in this video i am going to explain you about voltage and current sources in the subject of basic electrical engineering uh, so basically we have two types of sources okay one is ideal source and the other is practical source so in this video we are going to learn about these two sources and we are going to get four combinations i have written here nothing but voltage ideals ideal voltage source practical voltage source and ideal current source and practical current source like that we are going to get total of four combinations and let us learn about each of them in this video so first let us discuss about ideal voltage source so ideal voltage source is nothing but the voltage source that will provide the constant voltage across the circuit for any changes in the load current or load resistance see simple if you are making any changes in the load current or in the load resistance see we have the formula v is equal to ir right so what does it mean voltage you'll be getting a potential difference is equal to or voltage is equal to current into resistance current into resistance if you do you will be getting the v so here the voltage source that is nothing but v is equal to ir right it provides constant voltage across the circuit for any changes in the load current or load resistance is nothing but this is a source voltage okay from here the voltage is being generated from this battery the voltage is being generated so here and this is vl vl is nothing but the rest the voltage which has been generated because of the load current and the load resistance okay this is load resistance rl il is load current because of the load resistance and the load current whatever voltage is generated that is the load voltage so actually if these are changed because since vl is equal to il into rl if il and rl are changed okay so current and resistance are changed according to the ohms law then vl should also change if i is equal to 2 and r is equal to 2 v will be 4 if it is i is equal to 3 and r is equal to 3 what is v it has to become 9 right but instead of that even though you make any changes to the load current or load resistance this vl will remain constant okay the value of vl will not change that is what ideal voltage source means got it the value will not change even though you make changes to the current and resistance and this will be always equal to the source voltage whatever source voltage is being supplied the load voltage also will be the same so vl is equal to vs that is the case got it so this is about the ideal voltage source ideal voltage source is nothing but a voltage source which will provide constant voltage across the circuit even if the current and load current and load resistance are changed okay so for this we have a graph this is il or rl and this is the voltage load voltage and at a point that is here vs so at a point of vs vl will be equal to vs that is why the graph will be straight line that is whatever changes you do to it this will not change right so even if the current is 0 or the current is 1 amps or current is 2 or current is 10 amps irrespective of the current or resistance it will always be equal to vs only okay and here we don't have the concept of internal resistance why i mentioned this is in the practical voltage we will be having internal resistance okay so this is about the graph and the concept of ideal voltage ideal voltage is nothing but it is always constant next let us move to the practical voltage source so here in practical voltage source basically Uh, i have not written any definition for this i'll tell you why see in practical i'll explain you with the circuit diagram only directly here we have the vs which is nothing but the source voltage okay and here we have r which is internal resistance okay and i the i is nothing but the current flowing in the complete circuit and we have the load resistance and we have il load current and because of this load resistance and load current the vl is generated vl is nothing but what load voltage okay about graph i'll explain you later now let us see this now let us apply kvl in this loop so what is kvl and kcl i'll explain in the next video in detail but for as of now uh, let us apply kvl okay kvl is nothing but the sum of uh, potential drop across the circuit should be equal to zero that is mainly what kvl means okay so how can we apply kvl from here let us apply see in this direction we are going okay so positive to negative you have come 
right positive to negative if you are coming then you have to consider it as negative okay see if you are having any okay yeah if you are having any confusion do not worry i'll explain you kvl kcl in separate videos i'll also explain you with example problems okay now so what you'll get minus il rl why minus because from positive to negative you are coming okay next come here Th this way we are coming right so once you come here it is also going from positive to negative only okay and what is the current we have here il il is only passing you are not i okay so it will also become minus il into small r okay next this this is going from negative to positive right negative to positive so you can consider it as plus v s why v s v uh, sorry kvl means what the potential difference the drop potential difference sum of potential differences should be equal to zero so this is potential difference only i r into r is potential difference v is equal to i r right i r i r again so this should be equal to zero okay mm. now what we will do is i l r l is nothing but what v l right i r v is equal to i r so v l is equal to i l r l v l is equal to i l r l why because v is equal to i r since it is vo load voltage it will be equal to load current into load resistance okay this will become minus v l minus i l r plus v s okay now let us send these two things or let us send v l to this side is equal to zero right now what we will get v l become goes to that side you will get v s minus i l into r is equal to v l right so wait v s minus i l into r is equal to v l initially in case of ideal v l is directly equal to v s but in case of practical what is happening v l is equal to v s minus you are subtracting some amount of voltage okay and what is that called as it is called as the drop and that is represented here i l r i l r is the drop since you are subtracting this i l r from v s in order to get v l this is called as the drop okay and the graph will be in this way v s minus i l into r is equal to v l this you will be getting on applying the kirchhoff's voltage law okay done i guess you i hope you guys are clear so here we have the concept of internal resistance whereas in case of ideal we don't have the concept of internal resistance so in real time when you are implementing things really in practical this only will work ideal situation is just to discuss is just to explain but ideal situation will not really exist in the real world okay so if you want to make this as an ideal scenario what you have to do put r is equal to 0 small r internal resistance is equal to 0 then this will become 0 right this complete term will become 0 so vs is equal to vl you will get okay so this is about voltage next let us discuss about ideal current source ideal current source also same it gives the constant current here instead of voltage you will have current here that's all simple apart from not that nothing it will give the constant current in the circuit even when the load is changed so even when the load uh, resistance is changed also it gives the constant current in voltage source it is giving the constant voltage right but here it is giving the constant current see actually vl is equal to il rl right so il can be written as vl by rl so usually when rl keeps changing il also have to change right but in case of ideal current source it is always giving constant this source this ideal current source will always give the constant current irrespective of the changes done to the rl okay again the graph will be same way il is equal to is no changes in the graph now let us see practical current source see in practical current source you are applying kirchhoff's current law you are not applying voltage since it is current you are applying the current law in voltage we have applied the voltage law before that let us try to understand the terms so this is source current here also source current only is flowing it is node x and load current 
this is load resistance and this is load voltage which is generated because of this IR and RL this is internal resistance small r and IR is the current which is generated because of this internal resistance okay now what we will do is let us apply KCL at node X at node X let us apply KCL no, uh, see uh, sum of incoming currents is equal to sum of outgoing currents KCL means or you can also say that sum of all the currents at a junction will be equal to zero anything you can do so now at this junction what all currents are coming we have to see okay IS is equal to this is the incoming right this is coming inside and this is outgoing because it is going this this is out and this is also going outside so obviously is sum of incoming currents incoming is is so is is coming here and what currents are going away from this node x ir is going away il is going away so these two are outgoing currents so is is equal to ir plus il that's all very simple okay so from this what il you will get is minus ir is equal to il ir is nothing but ir v is equal to ir right so i will be equal to v by r so v is nothing but here vl what what voltage is there in this loop in the current complete circuit we are having only one voltage vl so vl by small r is minus vl by small r is equal to il this is the equation we get for practical current source okay so in ideal current source what we had il is directly equal to is but in practical il is equal to is minus vl by r so what is the drop here vl by r is the drop got it so this is the graph il rl you are drawing the graph and at this point il is equal to is but gradually it keeps on decreasing with a drop of vl by r okay in order to make this one as practical what you will do in voltage we took r is equal to zero to make it as practical but here what we are taking we are taking r is equal to infinity why because vl by r right if r is equal to zero what will happen it becomes infinity which is not valid so that is why instead of zero we are taking infinity anything by infinity you will get zero so that this term will become zero and here automatically is will be equal to il okay this is how uh, we do ideal to practical in case of voltage or in case of current okay in the exam if you are asked about ideal uh, sorry voltage and current sources you can write about these four cases okay i hope this video helped you thanks for watching the video till the end and if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel for more such videos